Well, hello, Stife super fans. How are you? Don't you feel it's time for another unboxing? I certainly do. And the theme of this remarkable unboxing is called Good Things Come in Threes. So I hope that has grabbed your attention as we open this surprise and look at the treasures inside. Okay, let's go. We've got our tools. We've got the box. Good to go. So I'm going to open up the box. And I know because I'm so excited to share this with you, that this is going to be super interesting on a lot of levels, perhaps three levels. I got a call or an email from this person who sent this to me describing this item and wondering if it would be of any interest to anyone. Wow. So I had to practically tell her to sit down as I explained to her why not only would this be so interesting to collectors, but super, super interesting to collectors. Okay. So I'm unboxing. I'm unboxing. There's a lot of this. Just going to make a mess if I don't manage it. So I'm going to do it very carefully. And I have this. Okay. Let me start out with the wonderful item itself. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? This is blue ribbon and I'm gonna tell you why. Oh, so sweet. Okay, what we have here, look at this. Look at this, it's a little Saint Bernard. It's a lovely little Saint Bernard and he measures. About 15, 16 inches, excuse me, 16 centimeters by about 22. And look at him. He's really sweet. He's the leg, leg, legacy St. Bernard pattern in so much. He's got this wonderful, soft and simple face. And he's got this wonderful coloring on him. And the, what's so neat about his coloring is that it's actually patched into his design, not spray painted or airbrushed on. And that was a very typical con construction to uh, when he was made. So this little guy was in the line from about 1914 through about 1927. So he was in the line for a while. He was made in three sizes. He was made in 17, 22, and 28 centimeters. And I'm guessing that this is probably the smallest size given his scale and such. So he's got these beautiful eyes. They're glass pupil, brown and black, and they're backed in felt. Beautiful. Brown nose, sort of a shaved muzzle, and this wonderful, lovely, browner cinnamony patches of such for his color. And he's got three embroidered claws on each hand. Now, obviously, this is very sweet, pre-war, lovely piece. Now, let me explain to you why when I say good things come in threes, what I really meant here. First of all, obviously, number one, fabulous small dog pre-war. Who wouldn't love that? Okay. So when the person who had asked about this dog wrote to me, she said, there's something very special in the ear. Can you check it out? So that's what we're going to do live for the first time. So I'm looking here at the ear and she is absolutely right. This little guy, are you sitting down? has two stife buttons, two long trailing F buttons in his ear. And one of them has uh, traces of the white ear tag. So they're really the right, I don't know if you could see this. I'm gonna try to show you. Can you see that? There's two little buttons. They both say stife with the long trailing F and one has the piece of ear tag behind it. So that's really remarkable. And what might that mean? Well, only he knows for sure, but it is my best guess that this little guy could have been what was called the muster or sort of the gold standard of the breed. When the uh, seamstresses were making animals, they would always have one up sort of at sight line that would be the, the prototype that one would want to uh, make sure that all the ones that they made looked just like. So it was like sort of like the gold standard. So all the dogs were to look like this one with the facial expressions and the coloring and such. So that is truly remarkable. I don't recall ever handling personally an item with two buttons suggesting that it was a, a the, the gold standard or the one that the seamstresses would use 
as the one for perfecting their, their output that day. Now, that's number two. Now, here's number three. And it's in this box. And I'm going to open it up slowly. And what we have here, again, something that I personally love, which is called provenance. And that is the story behind this. And not only do we have pictures, but we have story. So I'm going to put him, I'm going to see if I can hold him in this at the same time. Okay, so this letter is dated September 15th, 2021 from Paula. And Paula writes, I wanted to share a little bit of history about the Stife St. Bernard toy dog. It belonged to my father, Robert, who was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in June of 1924. My grandmother was sentimental and a saver, so many things from my father's childhood through his army service in World War II were passed down and cherished, including his stuffed dog named Sheppy. So this little guy's name is Sheppy. That's S-H-E-P-P-Y. My father always enjoyed reminiscing about his childhood, and he thought his dog was a gift received either for Christmas in 1925 or on his second birthday in 1926. Looking at many photos, which I have included several, there was certainly a time period that my father went nowhere without his beloved Sheppy in hand. For many years since my father's passing, I've enjoyed displaying his childhood dog, photographs, and baby shoes, but for everything, there is a season. It's time for this wonderful piece of Stipe history to, move, to be moved on, appreciated, and cared by another while I hold on to the memories. Oh, how wonderful. So this dog had a name and was beloved by a man in Pittsburgh area. Now let's look at the provenance, the pictures. Oh, this is very, this is so super cool. Can you, can you see this? And I will create stills of this in the video, but here is the young man holding the dog on his lap. Yeah, just hold it the way he was. How wonderful, like a snapshot in time. And then she also included three additional ones. And these are the, the little boy at two and a half years holding the dog and with his mom and a real dog and another picture with the dog. Apparently he loved Sheppy. Sheppy, how wonderful. And again, we will put stills of these photos in the video for your review. Anyway, that's what I mean about good things coming in threes, but actually in this case, it's great things coming in threes. Wonderful Sheppy with his phenomenal construction and expression and wonderful size. Imagine him in the arms of a child. Two buttons, two buttons. We could just stop there and it'd be off the charts. And full provenance with a letter and photographs. The package. All right. Well, I hope that you have enjoyed this as much as I have. I'm feeling the puppy love. I hope you are as well. Thank you for watching. And until our next unboxing, Teddy hugs for now.